welcome to Valencia. Now you're about to be handed the keys to the Focus RS and Ford thought it might be a good idea for me to explain how some of the systems work. The Focus RS may look like a normal everyday car, but it really isn't because underneath the skin is the beating heart of a rally car developed over the last few years by Cone Bex, who is sitting next to me in the passenger seat. The RS offers four drive modes to suit different driving conditions so that you can make the most of the car's performance. And this button isn't just for scrolling through different massage settings, it really affects the car's performance and dynamic handling to suit those different conditions. So at the moment, everyday driving, which is what you'll be doing on the way back from the airport, I'm set into normal mode, the exhaust isn't too noisy, the ride is quite gentle if you like, doesn't throw you around over the bumps. And if you scroll through things like sport to track to drift, the suspension gets harder, the car becomes more aggressive and starts tuning into the environment. Therefore, you can make the most of the power, get maximum response. Each driving mode alters the six primary vehicle controls, from the exhaust to the engine control to the throttle response, the steering effect, the all-wheel drive, the traction control in the ESC, and the dampers, either stiffer or softer. Now we are driving a normal mode, yeah. and I wouldn't call it normal mode because it's still very RS feel. Yeah, 350 horsepower, I feel like I can go wherever I want. Yeah, you can. With all these red lights, I think we need to take this into the countryside and do what this car was made to do, which yeah. is tackle some serious corners. Very good idea, Ben. Okay, good. Right, let's get out of here. Okay, so here we are in some proper mountain roads. Um, this is much more like it, so I guess now is a good time to try the sport button. Yeah, finally. Go for it. So I select that. That's come up on the screen as sport mode. So what difference is that now over normal? Yeah, so what happens now is like engine controls are, are changing. You will get a more aggressive throttle response. Yeah. Um, also exhaust sound is more present now. It gets also pops and burbles. Okay. Uh, yeah. The steering feel is changing. Um, yeah, so it's the, a little heavier in the, in the wheel. Yeah, correct. We are changing the boost curve, so it gives you a bit more confidence feel at higher speeds. Also, like now, all drive is in, in, in track tune, uh, which is actually tuned for maximum traction. So the all-wheel drive setting now in sport mode is the same as the setting that you get in track mode. Yeah, correct. Right? Yeah. So the only thing's missing um, from track mode really is the the reduced traction control and the stiffer damper setting. Yeah. Okay. So you, if you want, you you may try it with the the button at the end of the indicator. Okay. So I'm damping, so I can stiffen that. I can feel the firmer ride. Yeah. And it just feels that a little bit more precise. It's amazing when you just start to lean on it, you start to feel the axles working a little bit harder and um, when it's closer to the edge, applying that power, you do start to feel through the wheel, power surging and that torque just starting to break traction. Yeah, but it's a very gradual process and it's quite intuitive. So I'm glad that you're feeling confident behind the wheel <laughs> because I'm sitting next to you. Uh, nice big clips inside. Yeah. the racetrack so we can really unleash the car and um, I've loved the mountain section but you have to hold back a bit but here we can give it everything can't we? Yeah, we're on the pit lane and maybe you want to try out the launch control? Yeah absolutely sounds great. So, so uh, to set up the launch control you need to use the buttons on the steering wheel right so go to um, settings okay then go driver assist yes select it and launch select control. Select launch control. Easy enough. So, okay, so uh, first uh, gear. Yeah. Floor, clutch in. Yeah. Floor the throttle and drop the clutch and off you go. <laughs> yeah. That's mega. So what happens is like the old drive recognizes that you selected launch control. Okay. So it will preload it the left and the rear clutches already right. for optimized traction. So you get an instant response as soon as you drop the clutch. Yep. It's an instant release. Amazing. So this is great. This is what we came here for. Okay, so yeah, so I'm still in sports. I guess now that we're on the track, we should select track mode and uh, firm everything up. So I press that one more time. So yeah, what's the difference now then between sport where we were and now into track mode? 
you can go hard on the, the brakes, for example. Yes. The, you can drive very fast and hard without that the ESC will interrupt you. Okay. Well, I'll start pushing a little bit harder. I'm already digging pretty hard into the brakes. just how accurate this car is on the track and drive it precisely trying to get maximum performance but there is one setting that we haven't tried yet that I am quite looking forward to which is driving like a hooligan in drift mode yeah so I think it's time to push the button yeah. one more time all right, all right. here we go you're now in drift mode so what happens is what the happens now we go it's become soft again and we do it sideways again switch to the drift setting which means it will instead of going for optimize or maximum traction it will helps you the doing the power slides so lighter steering so you can work the wheel faster soft the damping so it's easy to catch the slide when it happens and the um, more power to the rear wheels through yeah. the wheel drive all wheel drive is also switching to the drift setting so it will send as much as possible torque to the outside wheel yeah. uh, to overcome all the delays in the system and once you're in a smooth drift it will actually lock almost assist the rear axle like this yes that's pretty awesome i mean it's quite effortless as well but i'm going to try one a little bit faster down here now that we're in proper drift mode See how it fares at higher speeds. I will grab the handle. Are you ready for this? Yes. You sure. You can get out now if you want. That will work out very well for you. I'll, I'll trust okay. you. is up but yours is about to begin and I hope that you will all enjoy this car as much as I have. Helen you've done an amazing job, you've combined these three different worlds of road, track and drifting into this one amazing package so um, you should be proud, you've yeah. done a fantastic job. Glad that you enjoy it and by the way nice driving. Thank you, oh, I've loved it. So can I keep this one? Uh, no. Got to ask haven't you? <laughs> 